Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a coffee maker with CLR. Now normally I use white vinegar. Normally I use distilled white vinegar and I've got quite a few videos. This works really well, but I had a viewer uh, uh, tell me that he uses CLR and I did check CLR, the back of it, and it does say for coffee makers. Now it says read your manufacturer's instruction manuals. I wouldn't use this on a really expensive coffee maker like some of your just your generic or your general coffee makers your Mr. Coffee's Black & Decker's I wouldn't use CLR on a Keurig or anything I, I think they actually specifically say not to so this is just coffee makers that have a heating element so inside this coffee maker there's a heating element that's kind of hidden and you can't see and it gets calcium deposits and you can clean it with white vinegar or CLR and today we're going to use CLR now this container costs about four bucks um, but we're not going to be using it because you dilute it quite a bit so the instructions say one part CLR to eight parts water so again we're not going to be using very much of this and the best way we're going to put the CLR in here so with a standard 12 pot uh, coffee or 12 cup coffee maker the math can get a little complicated and you can um, I'm just gonna make it easy I'm gonna fill the CLR up to the two cup mark and then I'm gonna put eight cups to fill the rest of, or ten cups of uh, water so it might be easier just to put ten fill it up here because it's a little hard to see the two so I'm gonna put water up to here and then CLR from here to here it might be a little stronger than it needs to be but I don't think it's gonna be much stronger and one thing, so when you use CLR on the back of it, it says you need to do four rinses. Now that's a couple more rinses. So when I use white vinegar, I can usually do two rinses and it gets away or it gets all the smell and, and taste away. But we are going to do four complete water rinses when we're done. So I've got it filled up with water here. used about half of this so the cost this vinegar might be a little cheaper this is a buck 50 for 64 fluid ounces and since I paid almost five dollars so this is about 250 I'm using I did mix it a little strong so it could be just a little cheaper if you did the math right but so now go to your coffee maker now if you've got a filter in you may have a carbon filter or down in the uh, water reservoir side or anywhere you're gonna want to remove that and same if you've got a reusable filter, just go ahead and remove that. And don't, I would not have a paper filter in here. Just let the water go through. And now we're going to dump. We're going to dump this solution in the back here. I'm going to have to spill it all over. Got it all out. We're going to put this down. We're going to close the lid. Now we're just going to do a normal brew. Okay, I've got the normal brew started. This didn't say anything about stopping it halfway through. Um, if your coffee maker was in really bad shape, you could uh, brew it up to the six cup mark, stop, let it soak for a half hour, and then, and then brew it the rest of the way through. I'm going to go ahead and just brew this completely all the way through. And then when it's done, we're going to do uh, four rinses with water. So it brews kind of like a green solution. But one thing I, I was expecting this to smell really bad. You know, it doesn't smell super bad. Um, it, it has kind of a soapy smell to it, maybe. Um, but sometimes CLR, I, I think, smells really bad sometimes. But this actually doesn't smell that bad. I think this actually smells better than white vinegar. I might be using this now instead of white vinegar. But I just wanted to show you we're about halfway through it. So about halfway through, maybe a little bit more than halfway through, it's it's starting to do something that I haven't seen. It's like bubbling and so I got quite a bit of that solution left to go. But it's not, it's kind of like 
bubbling out instead of like normally you have like little spits of water coming out. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. So you do get this like bubbling action. Yeah, I'm not used to that with the vinegar. Okay, so that took about 25 minutes, about 10 minutes and more than normal to brew that through. So we're gonna throw this out in the sink. And we're gonna wash this out with soap and water. We're gonna wash this with soap. And then we're gonna fill the reservoir with fresh water and we're gonna run four pots of fresh water through this. Okay, so I cleaned this all out. I've got the water reservoir filled back up to the 12 cup mark with fresh water. So now we're gonna do a normal brew. I've gotta do this four times. So I'm, once this finished brewing, I'm gonna dump it out, fill the water reservoir again four times. So this takes a little longer than using uh, white vinegar. I'm not quite sure if it's any better, but it definitely did seem to work the coffee uh, maker a little bit more than white vinegar. So I hope this video helps. Uh, please leave your comments down below. Again, I did this video because someone else uh, recommended it. And I really appreciate everybody's support. And if you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.